What's up, Envy Babes? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing a traditional quick weave with the deep side part and body curls. And I'm going to give y'all a little tutorial on how I swirl my baby hair up on the sides because I really think that eats down. To start off my quick weave, I'm going to go ahead and part the hair where I want the part to go at the end. And basically, I'm going to just measure out around the temple of her hair. That's where I'm going to start. The temple of her head is where I'm going to start the part. And then I'm going to curve it because I like curved side parts. Um, if you want a straight side part, like a part that's just straight to the back, still measure it around the temple. It's going to give you the same type of look. Um, if you struggle trying to figure out how much hair to leave out, all you have to do is part a section that you think is thick enough. Use your red tail comb and put it underneath it. If you can still see that metal tip, it's not thick enough. Take a little bit more hair out and then, um, you know, keep going until it covers the whole comb. If you can still see the comb, then the hair is not going to cover the track when it's time. It, but also, like, if you feel like the hair, like you're leaving too much out, sometimes people's hair are a little too thin. You can just grab some black spray and part out enough to like cover the track a little bit and then use the black spray to cover it up. But anyway, so after that, I'm going to go ahead and braid her hair straight down and around kind of similar to how I do my braid pattern for like a wig and stuff or like a, um, a sewing, but the braids can be a little bigger, like not big to where they're fat, but like instead of using like 10 or 12 braids, I probably only gonna gonna do like eight or well I probably did still do 10 I don't know anyways just make them flat enough to where you know everything's gonna look seamless in the end and when you get done in the back make sure everything is connected and braid that all the way down I kind of struggled a little bit braiding her hair down because it's like it was shorter in the back and it had blunt ends but kind of just gotta put a little ump in it and get it done after that I'm just gonna go ahead and put a cap on her head and then I'm gonna use some liquid cap and um cut her ear well first i'll cut her ear holes out and then i'm gonna put some liquid cap over her head over her whole hair so it can just add an extra layer of protection so you got two layers of protection now you have the cap and then you have the liquid cap right on top of that and i'm just gonna use this rubber brush and like smudge it all over her head where the braids are make sure you don't accidentally get in any of this on the uh, actual leave out because if you get it on there it's gonna be super hard to get it off and it's gonna get a little cakey i did it before i like you gotta like kind of scrub it off it, it'll come off cool but like just don't do it because it's gonna look a little crusty i ain't gonna fake it'll look a little crusty but um uh, yeah so do whatever it takes not to get it on the leak out and after that just sit your client under the dryer for 20 minutes or depending on whatever say on the back of the bottle of whatever liquid cap you use the kind I use, say, 15 to 20 minutes, I just do 20 minutes to be on the safe side. And after that, I'm going to cut around the cap, leaving her leave out out and getting rid of the excess cap. Once I get done cutting this cap off, I'm going to show y'all how I lay my tracks. So my client is using a new bundle mixed with, like, some used bundles. So she got a new bundle to add longer length. I think so she added a 26 inch bundle in the back and then she used like two 24s from a previous install basically so i'm gonna show y'all how i do a flip over method and then i'm also gonna show y'all what i do when the tracks is cut if y'all ever have trouble getting y'all glue out the bottle take the top off it's probably glue that's dried up on there just peel it off and get rid of it so now i am why was I clapping when I talk? I'm so good out. <laughs> Anyways, my bad, y'all. So now I'm just going to go ahead and lay that track uh, across the back of her nape area. And then I'm going to go ahead and spread some glue all around it. And this is how I do the flip over method so that you don't have to cut the webs. Um, a lot of times when people use hair or bundles to use quick weaves, they feel like they have to throw it away because they cut it all up and a lot of stylists don't work over cut bundles. But if you know you like getting quick weaves better than sew-ins or something and you wanna keep your bundles for a longer time, try to see if your stylist can learn this little flip over method so she doesn't have to cut it and you're just gonna keep going back and forth and back and forth until it's all the way up. So now this is where we get down to the nitty gritty, the cut up bundles that we used a long time ago. So basically um, what I do when my clients bring cut bundles, cause I don't chip off stuff like that 
you know, I just pass them to them and say, hey, pass me the longest one so I can just, you know, go ahead and get it faster. So as y'all can see, my client, she helping me out. She, I, This is one of my rules. You know, if you bring cup bundles, you just gonna have to help. Simple. It ain't gonna inconvenience me and it ain't gonna inconvenience you. Y'all see, she's still on her phone, doing her phone call and still passing me the bundles and we getting it done. It's quick, fast, and in a hurry. She, she moving a lot, but we still getting it done, you know? So I'm just basically laying the tracks and she's getting a deep side part and she wants the hair to come towards her face. So whenever your client wants their hair to come towards their face, you got to start curving the tracks up around the head. And I'm just going to keep on curving it up and try not to lay the tracks directly on top of each other um, in the front. So every time I curve it upwards, I'm going to lay it a little bit closer towards the front so they're not like stacked directly on top of each other. It's kind of like brick laid a little bit. I don't know. I lay it in a little pattern. You just got to watch the video. Like, I don't know how to describe it, like, completely, but watch the video. Don't lay them directly on top of each other. Like, bring it upwards a little bit. You see how I just laid that one? It's not directly on top of the other track. It's a little bit in front of it. And then, I'm going to just lay them all the way around up until I get to the top and close it all the way in. And that's pretty much it for right now. I'll be back with some more tips and tricks in a minute. Whenever it's time for you to start laying your tracks on the side, try to make sure you lay those ones directly on top of each other because it's not a lot of surface space over here. So if you're not careful, you'll end up with only like two or three tracks and it'll look super, super thin. And I do not like when I'm doing like a body wave install and the hair is super duper thin on the side. Like, no, 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 no. You got to make sure you get as many bundles over there as possible to make sure that it's super full on both sides. Like, of course, it's not going to be as full as the other side, but you don't want the other side super big and thick and the and this side like super thin because it's going to make it look big like her wig is super big. You know, like y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not trying to be funny, but I don't like when somebody's hair, like if they have a quick weave or sewing and it look like it's a lump on top of their head, like it never gave. So you just got to super make sure that this side kind of evens out. You should try to fit like at least five or six tracks on this side of the head alone. So they have to be, you know, kind of on top of each other and just keep on going up until you finish. And it's going to be so cute. And your client's going to be like, oh my God. And I'm just going to, they are going to do that. Watch out. Just pay attention. Lay the tracks right. Make sure it doesn't get lumpy. If it looks lumpy or bumpy in any area, just take it out and start over. Like, if you see anything wrong along your way, if it don't look right, if it's not giving the way it's supposed to give, like, take it out and start over. So, y'all see how it looks full on this side? Like, it's not just super thin. I can pull it back. It still looks flat. It's still seamless or whatever. And yeah, I'm going to close the other side out and I'm going to show y'all how I curl and blend my leaf out next.
now that we have all our tracks laid in we are going to go ahead and take those braids out that we did in the front and i'm going to use some foam to mold this part down and whenever you're molding it down you can go ahead and swoop your edges in the way that you want them to lay as well because it'll be easier for you later on down the line so right now i'm just going to part her hair the way i want it to go making sure that i'm covering the tracks and making sure that i'm curving it good enough so the baby hair lays directly into the side part you know i'm not really a fan of the baby hair being all the way over here and the part being all the way over there i love when it looks connected like it flows like from the root to the tutor if you know what i mean it just has to flow like everything has to look flowing and uniform for me and it just looks so pretty and so put together and that's just really what i'm going for so after this i'm going to put a cap over her head and then sit her under the dryer for 15 minutes or until it's dry and when she gets done, I'm going to comb the mold out and show y'all how I continue to blend the leave out. Now that my client is from under the dryer, I'm going to go ahead and comb that mold out. I'm using some bio silk and I'm going to put a little bit in my hand. A little bit goes a long way with bio silk. You do not have to use a lot. If you use too much, the hair will get super oily. Like it's not, it's not like a greasy, but like a oily. Like it'll make your bundles just look and feel slick. And I feel like whenever I use too much, the cur my curls don't eat as as much as they could. You know, they look kind of greasy and stuck together. Like they don't flow properly. So try to make sure you don't overuse the product. It says a, a dime size amount only use the dime size amount if you use too much it's gonna look really greasy and you're gonna feel like you know you because the bio silk is expensive you know like if you use too much and it don't work out the way you thought it was gonna work out and we all didn't hype this product up because everybody uses it you're gonna feel like you wasted your money and that's how i felt the first time i used it like i'm like i didn't see all these girls on youtube that i'll be watching use this stuff and this is greasy as but then i seen i had let one of the other girls in the shop use it because both of us didn't want to buy it for one but anyways i let her use it and when she used it it looked good so i'm like oh, let me try it again and then i use it right like the bottle told me to do and you know it works really good so try not to overuse the product because it's gonna look greasy and you're not gonna like it and you're gonna feel like you wasted 30 dollars because i think this big bottle costs like 30 dollars but yeah Anyway, so after that, I'm going to go ahead and start my curls. Y'all, I really just went on a rant about bio silk. It's really expensive, but it's worth the money. I'm not going to fake. So after that, I'm going to do my curls or whatever. I part my curls in diagonal sections. Spray whatever holding spray you like. Right now, I'm using Got To Be Spray. Uh, a lot of times, I use Sebastian Shapewear um, Spray, too. And I'm using my T3 iron. And whenever I'm curling, I'm going to curl away from the face. Unfortunately, I didn't get the part where I curled the bang um but it's literally this same way all the way to the front i curled the bang part or the front part um not in portrait mode I, I, I or in portrait mode however i did it the long way because i recorded it for my instagram my tiktok and i didn't get a chance to record it for youtube but yeah if you want to see that part how i curled that the front area just go watch the other video with a short or a reel that i made about it but anyway so now that I'm on the other side, I'm going to part diagonal the other way too when I'm going to comb through it and part my little section off, spray my hairspray, and then comb it through again. And then I'm going to comb, uh, curl away from the hair and hold it for a second and let that drop. And I'm going to do that all the way up until I'm completely done.
Now that I have all my curls in, I'm going to go ahead and use some wax. You can really use whatever type of wax you want. I don't even know what the brand of the wax that I'm using is, but I know I got it from Walgreens and it works really well because it's not super thick and it's not super oily. Honestly, I think it's only one type that they sell at Walgreens. So if you go to Walgreens and you see it like, I guess I'll show y'all in another video, but it's at Walgreens. That's where I got it from. But yeah, so I went over it with the wax and then I used my hot comb and went through it. And to blend the leave out with the hair, I'm just going to go with my flat irons and just press the leave out into the hair. So yeah, after I do that, I'm going to go and start swooping her edges around. So for baby hair, what I'm using is the got to be spray and I'm having my client hold the blow dryer for me because it just makes it easier to blow dry it in place while I'm swooping it. Like it is so much easier. Like it does require your client to do a little work, which I hope they don't hate me for it. But you know, it just gives the results that I'm looking for. Maybe one day I'll get like an assistant or something to hold the blow dryer, but who really wants to hold, hold the blow dryer while you do? That's besides the point. Anyways, um, I'll be letting my intrusive thoughts kick in when I'm doing voiceovers, bro. Anyways, swoop it around. Use your finger in the comb of the uh, edge brush to swoop it around and then like just swirl it. You kind of got to flick your wrist when you swirl it and then just keep going until you get it right. And after you're done and you start combing through your curls, I don't comb through my curls too much, especially when I have a client that I know doesn't know how to recurl their hair. Like I don't want to fumble with the curls too much. I just like finger them around and like spread them out a little bit. But for the most part, you see her curls are still intact and I'm going to go and do the same thing to the other side, like comb it a little bit. Like I don't go through and comb the curls out completely when I know my clients don't know how to redo their own hair, you know, like I want to preserve this style just as much as possible. So they won't have such a hard time and they curls last a little bit longer, but yeah, this is the final result. This is what it looks like. Make sure y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. Cause I think I ate down. I ain't gonna fake. So if y'all say anything other than that, I'm gonna think y'all some haters. This is the final result. We ate the girls up. Look at my girl. She know. Look at her. Mm-hmm. Eight.